Here is a summary table that's going to help you decide what kind of control chart you want to use depending upon the sample size used for the calculation. So keep in mind that range and mean usually goes together side by side to look at different type of variability. Fixed sampling it's better but has the drawback of you have to wait for values. Moving sampling there is more calculation being done is more up-to-date but there could be propagation effect. So the way you're going to actually sample the data is not discussed here at all because you really have to think about the dynamic of the process, go back to the previous slide and think about how you want to sample the data. Any new data on a time base or on a sample base, that's up to you. We do recommend, strongly recommend that any PyTag that will be used into an SQC train should have its compression setting put to off to make sure that any snapshot data being used into a sample to do some calculation will be archived and you won't see any discrepancy between current data in the control chart and historical data when you revisit the past and try to analyze the same problem.